I just love how natural this looks on my skin. I cannot describe to you guys enough how beautiful it is in person. <laughs> beautiful glam fam we are going to do a full face of surat beauty i really want to focus on makeup that is so good for mature skin and i have to tell you guys ever since i started using this foundation i literally cannot stop using it every time i wear it it is just immaculate on my skin and i'm really excited because surat gave me a discount code for you guys so you can use christy 15 at checkout the affiliate link will be below and you'll get 15 percent off your purchase so we're gonna get into everything i have from surat beauty full disclosure i did get all of these products sent to me from surat so thank you so much to the company i am so excited to share all of this with you guys what i love about this company is and just a little background behind it is a lot a lot of this stuff was basically born in Japan, but manufactured in New York. So they say born in Japan, raised in New York, because it has a lot of the Japanese ingenuity into the ingredients. And if you're not familiar, Surat Beauty was found by Troy Surat, who is the one and only world-renowned celebrity makeup artist that worked alongside Kevin Aquan. He actually helped launch Tarte Cosmetics and has worked as an ambassador for beauty.com and Maybelline New York. I have been such a fan of Troy Surratt for so many years now. Him and Kevin Aquan were probably my biggest inspirations behind my makeup and my passion and love for makeup. And the fact that they worked side by side is incredible. We're actually gonna use the Kevin Aquan contour powder today because I don't have the Surratt one yet and they're out of stock. So as soon as that gets back in, we are definitely gonna try that one out. But I really love what Troy has developed with this brand and has really made it so exclusive and luxurious to a higher end market, but making his packaging refillable makes it more attainable and sustainable to continue purchasing. And that's what I love about this brand is most of this stuff is refillable. You can buy the refills. You can buy the separate little Z palette type customizable empty palettes on their website. So that's what I love about this brand. So I do have two shades with the foundation. I have shade four and shade Three. Now shade four is definitely my perfect match. And that is a light with yellow undertones, like almost like a light medium with yellow undertones. And then we also have shade three. I'll show you the swatch right there. That's more light with neutral undertones, but it has a little bit more pinky undertones in there. So what I love about this component is the foundation actually comes through the brush and you can apply it directly. So you don't waste any product. And I love that about this component. This gives you more of a, I would say like a medium to full buildable full coverage, but not like super full coverage. This is a very natural finish. The ingredients were excellent. There's no coconut oil in there. So thank you to Surat Beauty for doing that. The ingredients on these products are made for mature skin, are made for anyone. So if mature skin can wear it, anyone can wear it. So that's what I love. So right now I do have my dermatology eye patches on, as you guys can see. And I, if I want the best makeup look, I have to use my patches. They just make my concealer glide on like a flippin' dream. And you can use my code Christy20 with dermatology and always get 20% off. You guys know that's the only skincare I use and I don't have a primer with them. So we are gonna use my dermatology number one primer primer as well as my Melk Cosmetics gripping primer. I like to use both these days, especially during the summer months. A lot of the times our makeup can break apart during those times of the month. So especially if you're over 40, I just highly recommend some type of gripping primer. e.l.f. has a very affordable one if you're on the market for an affordable one. But what I'm going to do is just going to take a little bit of my Melk primer and you don't need all these steps. It's just I just wanna show you what each one looks like. And they all mesh really well together. And this is just, I'm gonna warm up that Milk Gripping Primer and I'm just gonna put it in the areas. I'm not gonna put it under my eye. And I'm just tapping that in. Whenever you use a gripping primer, it's really good to just kinda of tap. You don't need to rub. Just tap that in to the areas where you feel like you lose. Like a lot of the times my makeup will break up on my nose. 
This one lasts literally all day. I've worn this and I'll attach a video at the end out of me outside wearing the foundation so you guys can see. I'm just gonna glide this Dermatology number one primer and this I'm just kind of pressing in like this where I have pores just to smooth that out. All right, we're gonna go in with shade four. So you're just gonna press that. One click gets just enough product out. So if you're a twinsy to me, this is a perfect shade for us. So I have enough on there and all I'm gonna do is just kind of go like this. And now I, I'm going doing the stripes, but I'm not gonna go smooth it around like that. And again, that's what I love about this foundation is that you don't need a lot and I'm not wasting product. I'm not getting messy all over my hands or having to put it in a separate dish. I'm not wasting any product and that's what I love, especially when something is a little bit more pricey. But for me, foundation is an area where I don't mind spending a little bit more on my makeup. I don't wanna spend an outrageous Tom Ford amount, but I don't mind spending a little bit. And that's what I do with that brush. Now I'm gonna go in with a foundation brush and just start pressing it in. Do you see how beautiful and skin-like, yet you get the coverage? Probably one of the easiest foundations to apply where it literally just melts into the skin. This is just such a beautiful foundation. And the only reason why I don't go back in with this brush is because it's soggy now from you know, applying, having the foundation come through it. But it's not to say that it's not a good brush, it's just that I find, for me personally, using a dry brush helps kind of dry down the product as we go so that when I go in with my other products, we're at a good point where it's not gonna mess up anything. That's the only reason why I like taking a clean, dry brush to do that and don't have any product on this brush. You wanna make sure all the product stays on this. I still, like, this is just the perfect, perfect technology they put into this component because you are not wasting any product. If this was a doe foot applicator, I would be scooping out product. I wouldn't be able to get everything in there. Everything is being pushed through in that refill component. And remember, you guys can use code Christy15 at checkout and get 15% off your purchase. Again, for me, as mature 45 year old skin, I prefer I don't really put too much of a price tag on my foundations just because that's the one product. I can save a little money on primers with affordable drugstore ones, some, not all, but I would rather really put my focus on a foundation that I want to look the most natural, the most coverage I can possibly get where people go, wow, her skin's beautiful and not, wow, she has a lot of makeup caked on her. So that's what I appreciate about this foundation coverage. So let's take a look at it up close and then by my window in natural daylight outside of my studio lights. I just love how natural this looks on my skin. I cannot describe to you guys enough how beautiful it is in person. Like it's pretty with all of my lights and everything, but you can even see as the natural daylight, I'm standing against a window with bad lighting, but the natural good daylight coming in and it just is so beautiful. So I'm gonna go in with the color corrector and this is called the Surat Perfectionist Concealer Palette and it has two color correctors in there. So you have more of like a light warm peach and then more of a medium warm peach. And then you have like a violet pinky tone powder, which is really beautiful for brightening the skin. And this comes in, I think four different variations I'll put right there, but this is the one I chose and I, I love it. So we're gonna start off with like the lighter peach one, just so you guys can see here, I'll show you in studio. It has like that, almost like a waxy formula. It reminds me a lot of the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage from the past. I don't know if you guys remember that. So we have the light peach the warm peach and then the powder the powder because i do have pink undertones is almost a little hard to see especially on my hands so i'm going to take their little eyeshadow brush that they sent over and you can use this on i'll probably use it with the eyeshadows too today because we're just using it with the concealer i'm going to take the lighter one and i'm going to show you how i would use this shade I'm gonna put it like right here, like right on the inner corner. So almost like starting an inner corner highlight. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna really help with our mature eyes. And then I'm gonna put a little bit right here, 
just to kind of get that eye lift going like right there and this has like a peach undertone i have a little bit of darkness right there so that's going to help counteract that it's so funny i don't know if you guys if you're like me i never had dark circles in the past until recently and now i have a little little mark right there because your girl plucks her own eyebrows my mom used to hate when i said pluck tweeze my own eyebrows she's like you're not a chicken you don't pluck yourself you can do this in your hand too. A lot of these waxy type products, this reminds me of old school makeup like Krylon and Graftobian and RCMA where it has almost like that waxy base but they stay forever. So this is more the warm peach. And a lot of the times like old makeup artists, what they would do is they warm it up on their hand because when you warm it up on your hand, it's gonna go on a little bit smoother. So your natural oils in your skin, see how pretty that is? I mean, you can barely tell on my white hand, but it is really nice. So I'm gonna take that warm peach on my ring finger, just because it, that is the less pressure finger. And I'm just gonna start putting that where I have dark circle areas. And this is not something you need if you don't have any kind of discolorization under your eye, but this is gonna help prep it so you can use less concealer. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm just warming it up and placing it into my skin. And then I'm gonna take this sponge and blend it in. This is a really fantastic product. It's actually my favorite color corrector now. I have uh, a lot of issues with a lot of the color correctors because they have coconut oil in them. I used to use the Charlotte Tilbury until I learned that it has coconut oil in it. So I cannot use that one anymore. And a lot of the color correctors do. So I don't know if they have a liquid concealer. I don't think they do. When I looked at the list, this is the one they sent over to me. So I have shade two and three, and this is their Surreal Skin Concealer. So it's the little sister to the foundation. So shade two is fair to light with neutral undertones. So if you're lighter than me, shade two will be perfect. And then shade three is light with neutral undertones. So I'm typically not a big fan of stick type concealers, but I do like this one. And again, I like the ingredients. What I do with these type of sticks though, is I like to warm it up on the back of my hand like that. And it just kind of warms up that area. And then I just go in and it just makes it a little bit easier to glide. And I'll show you how I'm gonna work this product in just because I typically, again, like, and I'm just gonna put a little right here again for that lift, just right there. Uh, with this type of product, you don't have to worry about anything drying down. But for if you're like me and you have a little bit drier under eyes, I think for oily skin, this is amazing. But for me, I typically like a little bit more liquid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade three from the foundation, and you can just use the same color. I just want more of a brightening effect. So I'm gonna use shade three since I have it. And I'm just going to press that up. And I'm gonna mix this together with this concealer and it's just gonna make it more of a liquidy type. And actually you could do that with the shade four as well because the three will keep that bright for you. And now I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just going to start working that product. And you can use even moisturizer is a good way to do it. That just helps blend it out better. See how that just gave it a smoother application. I just find that that's a little bit more helpful with any type of concealers you feel like are not moisturizing enough, you can always, always do that. And you can add any product in. Even like pigment drops are really good, like the Derma Blend pigment drops to cover FX uh, pigment drops. If you like more affordable ones, NYX has one. Whenever you mix those two things together, those typically have a little bit more glide to them. But that's just one little trick I learned years ago that you can do. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the shade two stick, just put it right where your frown lines are. I learned this trick from Wayne Goss years ago. Anywhere where you have like frown lines. So you wanna put highlight there so you can pop it forward and give the illusion like you got filler, even though you didn't. But you just wanna make sure to use a good product and stick products are amazing for that. I highly recommend doing stick more than liquid there. Just because they stay. Stick products will stay all day. They're a little bit more challenging to blend out, but they will stay. Then what I like to do is just take my BK Beauty 101 
that I already had like leftover product on and I'm just gonna press that into the skin. So I am gonna use the loose powder for the perimeter, outer perimeters of my face, but I am gonna take my one size powder onto my Makeup Forever teardrop sponge. And by the way, these sponges are back in stock on the uh, Makeup Forever website. You can only buy them there, they're $10. This is the only velour puff, as you guys know, I will use. It's just magnificent. And there's really nothing, I, I have all the cheaper Amazon ones too. There's nothing that compares to this. I've tried so many other velour puffs and you guys know to get the most flawless application, a puff is needed. I love the way that looks. That looks flawless. That gave me the, the extra coverage I needed under my eye, yet this is not gonna go anywhere today. Now we're gonna go and use the loose powder from Surat. So this is refillable and this is their matte translucent. They have more of a radiant finish one as well. This is a really finely milled powder. I mean, extremely finely milled. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in studio. It is so softening, like, oh my gosh. If you are looking for a good loose powder without coconut derivatives in it, this is fantastic. So I'm gonna take this, this is one of my top ones now. And this is like a net type where the product's gonna come through there. And now we're gonna take that and we're going to just set down the rest of the skin. And FYI, this is not a sponsored video. I They just sent these products to me. I didn't have to do anything with them. I had no responsibility to this, but I fell in love with the products so much. And I was already in love with their blushes and their eyeshadows. I already owned uh, some of the stuff that I'm gonna show you today, I, I bought myself. Uh, because I had it before them, but they sent me their other products. And I fell in love with them so much that I was like, I have to do a video. And I actually used to use the brow gel. Mine was getting old though. See how I got a little bit of coverage out of that too? I didn't really need my Makeup Forever powder, but it just binds everything together. It is so flawless looking. All right, let's take a look at it up close and then in natural daylight. Not only does my skin look flawless and just literally like just one of the most flawless applications I've ever done, Right now, it feels like I have nothing on, and that's a good feeling. So I love this foundation so much. I love the way all the base products are working out. Even this matte loose powder for even my dry, mature skin, it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna use that little violet. It's called a violet powder, but it almost has like a light pinky tone, and that will just brighten up that under eye area. So I'm gonna take it onto my Chikahoto Z Highlight Brush and that is what it looks like on the brush. Maybe Surat will send me over some of their brushes because you guys know I use these Chikahoto brushes on every video and I'm just gonna take off some of that excess powder so we don't get it all over and this will just kind of create a barrier too if we have any type of eyeshadow fallout but I don't typically get eyeshadow fallout from my Surat eyeshadows but this is a really pretty way to see how beautiful that is that's so brightening Ooh, I love that powder. Ooh, I really like this. This is actually a first impression of this. I haven't used the violet powder yet. Oh, that is so pretty. It gives almost like a very natural highlight. Remember by putting a brightening powder there, you're giving yourself a natural facelift. And us over 40 girls, especially in our mid 40s and above, we will take anything to lift. Lift and snatch. It's called the bend and snatch. Remember that from Legally Blonde? Bend and snap. Oh my God, the bend and snap works every time. God, I love that movie. Oh, that's so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, let's move on. So we're gonna do my brows. I'm gonna do them quickly and up close. I'll try to be as good as I can getting the angles in, but this is a refillable brow pencil. So this doesn't have a cap, so you're not pulling anything off. If you pull that off, that's the actual refill right here and that's what you would get uh, if you were buying this separately but obviously at first you have to buy the full component it's really easy to pop on and off and then you're just going to twist that like that and that's about how much product you get and then you do have a spoolie on the other side so i love that and i just go with my natural brow growth, like my brows just grow down. I don't try to fight it and do the soap brow effect because I just don't have brows. I don't have beautiful brow, bushy brows like that. 
I have very thin brows, so I just work with what I got. I used to try to go against the grain and it just didn't work out so well for me. And then what I like to do is just take this fully and comb that powder. And what I like about this is it gives you a very natural brow. Like I've already used this. I've, I've purchased this product myself in the past. I just had a darker color and I got so hooked on my Valentino one that I just hadn't used it in a long, long time. But I like the pen aspect of the Valentino. So I still will go in with that just to get those front areas. I don't have hair there, which is why a pen is just easier for me. But what I love about this blonde is that it's just a very neutral undertone. There's no uh, crazy warmth to it and that's very difficult to find with blonde pencils. And then let's go in with the Surratt Eyebrow Gel. So just a little bit just to get those to stay. I've been using this a lot again lately just because I finally have a new one started using my tinted ones a little bit more but they do have a tinted version they just don't have a blonde version so that's why I like their clear one and then I'll go in with my ABH blonde one just for that tinted effect perfect okay let's get into this eyeshadow look uh, I don't have a what do you call it eyeshadow base with them so what I'm gonna do is use my normal base my Gerard Cosmetics clean canvas and I'll just kind of speed through this but these eyeshadows run anywhere from 22 to 30 dollars the mattes and the regular shimmers typically are 22 and then the special metallic shades or glitter shades are around 30 dollars and I use actually I bought those two myself those two were sent to me but those two i already had i have two of these i'm backups of grige so grige is that perfect neutral taupe undertone it's just that beautiful transition color we're going to use that and then i love the brune noir the dark chocolate it's that beautiful smoky tone and then another matte shade that i already own is called i think it's called shimo shimu uh, I have it in my Z palette right now because I always have it in my palette because this is the one shade I use to blend out off camera. It's just one of the best ways to almost like the Melt Cosmetics blur from the back in the days. It's that same concept where it just kind of erases any mistakes. So I always keep it in my little Z palette, but I like to buy the individuals to create my own. There's other shades I wanna get my hands on. There's a green one and a blue one that I want so badly. But I love the Chocolate Noir that they sent over to me. That's a really pretty metallic, uh, just a smoky brown. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Very high quality. But anyway, love these colors. And then they also sent me over a really beautiful one to go with the, the pink uh, blush that they sent over. The pink one is called Cosmos. This is the type of pink I would wear just because it is a really soft iridescent color. We're gonna actually put that on today. It's because it's something different that I don't normally do. And then the other one is called Celestial. And that one is really beautiful as well. It has more of like a white undertone. Let's start off with that shade Grige. Although it has gray in the description, this is definitely more of a neutral brown and the perfect transition shade color. I'm gonna take it on to my Sigma E28. beautiful formulation oh my gosh it's one of the softest formulations you could ever get your hands on wow now let's go in with shamu so i'm going to take this wayne goss number five brush just because it has a little bit more detail uh, pointy and i just cleaned it and that see how that just blends out the edges so effortlessly oh so pretty okay now we're gonna go in with Brune Noir, that dark chocolatey brown. I'm gonna take that onto my Sonia G. Uh, this is the crease one. It just picks up the product really well. I'm just gonna pop that in right here. See how like, it's just literally, once you place it in, I feel like it just blends. So pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna take that Sonia G Crease Pro. We're gonna go back into Grige. See how these just, I mean, literally, I can do my eyeshadow look in like minutes with this formulation. Now, what I'm gonna do 
is I'm actually gonna take the highlighter they sent over to me. So this is a really beautiful formulation. This is probably my favorite highlighter stick on the market. This is, I don't really like highlighter sticks and this is my favorite one. This is available in three different shades. I have Dior, which is more like a gold undertone. So beautiful. And the good news is there's no coconut oil in there. Again, this is just that perfect formulation for a girl like me. So you could take this and what I would do is I would probably, it's hard to do it because I wear powder, but you can do it over your powders as long as you do it the right way. So I warm it up in my skin. And I'm gonna pop that just on the cheekbone just to show you guys what that would look like. I normally, I would never take a stick onto my face because I, I wear powder and I just don't find that that's very flattering, I should say. So I'm just gonna pop that onto the high points of my cheek. Love that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put this on my eyelid too, which is why I'm bringing it up now. And I'm just gonna take that here. And we're gonna give that a little bit of a base. Now I'm gonna go in with that Chocolate Noir and I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna place that one. I'm gonna take it onto that same brush I was using, Brune Noir. The Chocolate Noir has a little bit more a sparkle to it, I should say, a little bit more shimmer, as you can tell, but it's packed with pigment. I take that one, and I'm gonna transition where we're gonna put the lighter metallics. So this one actually even gives you a little bit more depth than the Brun Noir, oddly enough. So actually, we're gonna kind of just take that into the corner. So pretty. Oh my God, I love that smoky, sexy look. It's just really beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take Star and show you guys what that looks like before we go into the other shades. Really pretty, really pretty shimmer shade. And I'm just gonna press that. I find with these shades, they just go on better with your finger. And if you wet this, you're gonna get even more intensity, but I wanna show you what it looks like dry first. But if you want more of a glitter punch, you can use the Hourglass Scattered Lights. This is in smoke and this will go really beautiful underneath. I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass since I like a little bit of sparkle anyway. These actually apply even better with your finger, but unfortunately my nails are too long to dip in there and it's getting low, so. This will just give it a little bit more oomph. Oh yeah, okay, that's perfect. And then what you would do is you're gonna take that same brush, I'm gonna go back into that and I'm just gonna start patting. See, now it gives it something to stick onto and it pulls a little bit more pizzazz. Once I clean up and pop on the lashes, it all comes together. And now we're gonna go into Cosmo with my finger. This is that duochrome shade. So pretty. I wanna tie this into the pink blush and I wanna show you guys what that looks like over the top or you can just get that little extra pink touch. It's not too dramatic and it's not too pink. It's a really beautiful pink. I'm gonna take it onto this rougher number two brush and we're gonna really saturate the brush. It almost has like a creamy base to it. So pretty. You're not gonna really see it on the brush because it's white. I really like this formula. Wow, that's really pretty. Let's try the uh, celestial one, the gold one on the opposite side. You can see the gold. It's so subtle, but so beautiful. I'm gonna try this on the brow bone. You're going somewhere special, it's really pretty. Let's pop the celestial on the inner, just so we can see what that looks like, just to give it a little brightness right there. Putting a brighter color right here and the inside is gonna pop your eyes out more. That's a little trick for you guys. All right, let's use this beautiful eyeliner they sent over. And these are called their Smoky Eye Batons. They're available in seven different shades. And the shade I have is called Fume Brune. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's just a really beautiful brown, almost like a brownish black. It's so pretty. So we're gonna put that on the lower lash line. You can even use these as like a base to your eyeshadow as well. The outer section. And what I love about this pencil is it twists up like that. Okay, you have your pencil, but you can unscrew that like that and you can pop it off and you have a smudger, which is so nice. So if you like to smudge and really give a nice smoky eye to it, you can smudge that out. It's okay that it's a little messy there. We're gonna put shadow there anyway. 
Now I'm gonna go back in to Brune Noir with my Ruffer number 23. You guys, just the same old drill all the time. I really like that liner. Wow, that's really nice. Now we're gonna take Ruffer number three. We're gonna go in with Grige. Really, really, really pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Chocolate Noir just to tie that in. And we're gonna bring that one right on the outside. Mainly stick to that outside area just to add a little pizzazz and depth in there. Now I'm gonna take that shade Shamu onto this Units brush. And I'm just going to make sure we smooth out any further edges. So now they're just like literally blurred out anything. Oh, oof, this makes me so excited. All right, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter for the brow bone and we'll jump into the highlighter details in just a second. But I have two shades from the highlighter. I'm gonna take the lighter shade and I'll put the name right there. I'm gonna take this Sigma E47 now, same highlighter shade. Let's try out this liquid liner. This is their Autographic Liners, and they retail for $44, but the refills are only $20, which is awesome. So you just keep the component when you need a refill, and it's available in four shades. I have the Chat Noir, which is a really, really beautiful inky black. This is such a beautiful formula. This is their Japanese calligraphy inspired brush. How I like to use this is just along the lash line to help with the false lash band. But it does give you that precision, which I love. Which again is nice for tight lining like I like to do or for creating that cat eyed wing look. And this just helps with covering up the lash band. I love the precision and this does not irritate my eyes. This is by far one of the easiest eyeliners I've ever worked with and I'm really bad, especially with my shaky hands. So the fact that I like it is big because I don't typically like a lot of liquid eyeliners. There's only a couple that you guys know I love. So if my shaky hands can handle this, wow, wow, wow. Just store it upside down. I will keep it in my top shelf of products right there. All right, I'm gonna pop on my lashes and I'll be right back. So that is how the final look came together with my lashes on. Let's get into the lipsticks. This lipstick is called the Lip Sleeks and they are available in 12 shades for $34. I have the shade Heaven, like almost like a mob pink, definitely. They picked these shades for me and they could not have picked better shades. I absolutely love, love, love Heaven. It is really beautiful. It's probably my favorite out of the two, but I also have Bambi and it is really a beautiful shade as well. It's a little bit more, I would probably use that one more in the fall, a little bit darker too. It is still really pretty as well though. But today we're gonna use Heaven over my lip liner that I currently have on and I'm using the Too Faced, you guys know, the Lip Injection Post-Op Pink. It's been my go-to so far. I got the Hot and Spicy. I really like that one as well. And actually Hot and Spicy will look really good with Bandy. And then I do have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Muted Mauve. All right, let's get into this lipstick color. So you're just going to twist it like that. And again, this is called Heaven. What I like is my lips are really dry right now, so this is absolutely perfect. If you like that moisturizing, almost like a hybrid lip gloss lipstick, you'll really like this formula. So we're gonna get into the liquid blush first. And this is like a blush stick. Actually, it's a liquid blush. And I really like, I've been dying to try these out. So the color they sent me was Barbie uh, a Papa, as I wanna say. And I love that this is a very trendy color right now. And I do love the powder color that they sent alongside, which is the Barbie color pink as well. And I'll show you guys what they look like next to each other. Now you can buy this as a duo or you can buy them individually, however you want to do it. But it is such a pretty color. And you can even put this on your lips if you want. Want, that'd be really pretty as well. But I love this formula and I love the fact that it's not going to break me out because there's no coconut oil in it, thank goodness. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a, a little, I took it off, I don't know why, but I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. Again, I don't go directly, but you can, do you. I personally like to work things in and what I like to do is kind of spread it out on my hand and I'm just going to really work that into the back of my hand like that and then I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks and again see how it looked intense but it's really not once you get it on your skin you can build it up this one has a sheen to it so I'd like to try other colors just because sheens tend to emphasize my pores 
but this is really pretty and I don't see a lot of emphasizing of the texture. All right, we're gonna take the same brush and we're gonna, this is just the BK Beauty 109 from their new core series. And I'm going to take this brush and dip that into now the powdered version of this. That's the color, really beautiful pink. I love this blush formulation. I have been a fan of this blush formulation for years now. And it's just so beautiful. And that's what that color looks like. See how it's definitely more of an iridescent-y color. Uh, I like this one more on the higher higher up on the cheekbone, almost working in like a highlighter. And yeah, that's a little intense, don't worry. You just take a puff and you'll calm it down. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you what this highlighter looks like. The two highlight colors, the first one is the lighter one I showed you guys earlier on my eyebrow bone and inner corner, and that one's called Ariel, and that's a sheer champagne highlighter. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. And then we have Coupe de Genie, which is a sheer peach highlighter. Two of my favorite highlighter type shades. So I'm excited to try that out. We're gonna do the Coupe de Genie first onto my Wayne Goss airbrush. Really pretty color. We're gonna put that one right here kind of mix it in. See, I already got like a natural highlight from that Barbie color blush is like a hybrid highlighter formula because you really don't even need a highlighter. So I want to show you guys that. I actually think I got more intensity out of the Barbie one. That is really pretty actually. It's not something I would typically use, but I like it. Now let's do that Aureole and we're going to put that one on the tip of my nose. And we're going to use that one right here and right here. Oof. Ooh, nothing gets me excited like a highlighter. I really like the Ariel. I think that one's my favorite. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And I actually really like this Barbie one. Ooh, I feel like a Barbie girl. I love that. It's so pretty. I really, really like that. So I'm gonna go into Parfait now, which is a really beautiful peachy pink. I'm gonna take it onto my It Cosmetics brush. Wow, like the Barbie one gave like that natural highlight glow for the summer, yet this gives you kind of that matte finish at the same time. That is really pretty. I'm gonna take my Victoria Beckham bronzer, just the lighter side of this, this is shade four. Just feels like it ties in the, the look that way. Ooh, that looks so good together, right? Oh my gosh, this gets me so excited. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of the loose powder and start cleaning up the edges just onto this Sonia G brush, cheek brush. And that is how the final look turned out. I am so excited, you guys. I love the way everything applied. And if you decide you wanna purchase any of these products that I tested out now or down the road or anything else from Surat Beauty, remember I have a code. You can use code Christy15 at checkout and get 15% off your purchase. And I have the brand new bronzers on the way. So I will be doing a dedicated video to that. I'm really excited to try their brand new bronzer formula. I cannot wait to play with even more stuff from their makeup line. I can't wait to try their brushes. Oh my gosh, you guys already know. I am such a huge fan, as I mentioned a thousand times already, of Japanese made brushes. So, oh, I can't wait to try that out. But all in all, I absolutely love this makeup look. It really is so incredibly beautiful. The fact that it looks just as beautiful in natural daylight and in person as it does in all my beautiful camera lights is unbelievable. I mean, the smoothest application, the easiest eyeshadow look, everything I tried on, I loved. There wasn't one thing. I absolutely love that liquid liner. And the fact that my eyes aren't itching right now is just, chef's kiss. I, I cannot believe it. I'm so, so impressed, you guys. Again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you made it this far, thank you so much for joining me in this Get Ready With Me one brand tutorial. I know I have had Rare Beauty request, Victoria Beckham request. Drop a comment in the comment section and let me know if you'd like to see other brands, but thank you again to the Surat team. If you're new here and you haven't hit that subscribe button, please remember to hit the subscribe button, click the post notification bell, join 
join us. We're here every week and we just love for you to become part of our family. Make sure to check out last week's video and please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and comment below. As always, it really does help my videos out. All of these products will be down in the description box below. If you utilize my affiliate links, it really does help my channel out. And thank you so much for all that love and support. You can follow me on all of my socials at Christy Allure and check out my merch and Glamorous Life Collections and I will see you guys on the next video. Love you guys. Bye. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do